Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I love all things beauty, all things makeup. If you're into that kind of thing, then I think you would really enjoy my content. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe so you can catch all my future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it while you're watching it. Today, it's just a super kind of chill day. Got on my little Hocus Pocus. I went to like a little local art vendor thing today and now it is sweet water time i picked up this cute little bag and i picked up the cutest little hand-painted ornaments and this little etched mug it says witches brew this little ornament is probably my favorite thing the little kitties and look at this little candle and it smells so good and then this little hocus pocus tea towel because i this is like one of the only things in my house that i rotate out all the time as decoration in the kitchen so um yeah i picked up some very cute things this is from a local um, art vendor here. So I will have her Etsy, um, her Etsy page linked down below, but I have gotten multiple things from her and everything I've gotten is really, really high quality. So I think that you guys would like it and you can check that out. But today, sorry, that was like so off topic. Um, but yeah, getting back on topic, I picked up a Sephora's favorite kit. I usually pick up like one or two of these every year. And this one is actually the black owned, black owned kit or whatever. So everybody that makes these products is, you know, African American. So that's great. This retailed for $35. And you can see here, you're getting two full size products. Now, out of this kit, I used a lot of this stuff today. Some of it I am familiar with just in general. This is what the inside looks like. Now, I obviously put everything back in here just for the sake of this video. But yeah, we are just going to go through these things one at a time. Now, we're going to start off with the fail which I don't know if it's a fail or if I just used too much product, but it is this bread is, I guess the name brand and it is the everyday gloss hair oil. Y'all, my hair is not wet. <laughs> it's not wet. And I washed my hair today. So, um, I used my regular shampoo poo. I used the whey detox shampoo. And then I always use like the Redken moisture shampoo as well. And I tried today this hair um, hair mask that comes in this set. I'm I was not familiar with this brand at all, but it performed really good. Um, trying to remember the scent. Oh yeah, it is a Bayamint deep conditioning treatment, and it says it's for dry textured hair. Well, my hair is very dry. Um, but yeah, I liked this, uh, mask. I thought it worked really good. It did. I had to use like probably a third of this for my hair, but I mean, my hair is, you know, pretty long. It is thin though. I have long, thin, like straight wavy ish hair. Um, but yeah, the mint scent of this was really good it was really cooling so like while I'm taking a shower I turn the water off while like I'm shaving and stuff um and I'll have just like a little cup of water that I'm like shaving with I don't know I feel like I can get like the best shave with that and then like whatever I have on my hair is like really soaking in while I do that whole process and um yeah this felt really good like I said very cooling very minty so especially like in the mornings just like waking up and like breathing that in I thought it was really like relaxing kind of and it just got me like ready for the day but when I got out of the shower I used this hair oil now this hair oil it is a glass bottle even this little like deluxe sample or whatever 
y'all, the scent. It smells like, it smells like Lip Smackers, like strawberry. Like 200%, that is the scent. Smells so good. So I hope that I can find a way that this works. So they said you could put this in like wet or damp hair, which is what I did. And I blew, I blow dried it out. And I did it with a blowout brush at first. And then I was like, well, maybe it's just like the brush that's making it look so shiny. So I took like a, just a blow dryer and blew dry my hair, you know, everywhere to see if it would look a little better. And no, 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 no. It is just, it's weighing my hair down. And I don't know if it was, I, and it looks just greasy and gross. I don't know if I used too much. I'm gonna assume that that's what I did. Um, but yeah, it said you could use it like that. It said you could use it on dry hair in between washes. And I do not wash my hair every day. Usually I wash my hair two, maybe three times a week. Um, but three is like the absolute max. So I could use this, you know, like when I'm putting dry shampoo in, it does kind of dry your hair out and you need to add moisture back. I could try it like that. Or um, it said that you could use it as like a pre-wash. So if you put it on your hair and on your scalp um, two hours before you wash, you could use it that way. So I'm hoping that when I wash my hair tomorrow with just normal shampoo and conditioner, that it looks bomb. I will update the description, but the scent is amazing. Um, it's I saw some girls on Sephora that had like really, really curly hair and it, their hair did look really good. So I don't know if maybe my hair is just too fine and not textured enough for this, but it had that this was good for all hair types. So I guess I'll go through like all the sample stuff first or the deluxe you know, size items first, and then we'll move into the full size products. Now, I did not try this today, but I have tried this in the past. If I can get it out. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Now, this is like a fan favorite. They sell a kit that's like this, and I believe the like detoxing shampoo, like the scrubby shampoo, just this and that from Briogeo in a um, little Christmas kit, that would be bomb. But yeah, I did not try this today, but you can see this texture. There you go. Yeah, you can see the texture in there and it smells just like a high-end hair product. Like it doesn't have a crazy scent or anything. It just smells fresh, um, but this works amazing. This is one of the best um, hair masks that I have ever used. It is very pricey, um, so normally, you know, I, tr I try to stick with, like, honestly here, the, like, Aussie or Dove at Walmart. That is usually what I use, but during the holiday season, I do like to treat myself, and this is how I do it. Um, this is a great hair mask. would be a great gift for people as well. All right. Next up is a cleanser. This is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser. So this is what the packaging looks like. Now, the way that you use this, you just twist this and squeeze the product out. Like you're not uncapping anything. It just comes right out of here. And it's like a peachy color. Like you can see a tiny bit. It is a peachy color. And when you put this on, it feels, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe the way it feels. It feels like a mask, but like a gel mask. It feels super moisturizing. I took this all the way down like my neck onto my decollete because it just felt so good. Um, and it got all of my makeup off except when I wear the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which I did yesterday, um, it I always have to clean that up with like an oil-based eye makeup remover. So it did leave a little bit of remnants of that, but all the cleansers that I use do. Um, I usually use the Dr. Brandt No Pores or Pores No More or something like that cleanser. And um, yeah, I really did like this one. 
felt amazing and there was like no scent that I could detect in there. Next is this retinol reform from Shani Darden. So you're supposed to put this on at night and for the first week you're supposed to do like two days out of that whole week and then every week you're supposed to add a day um, just to build your skin tolerance up to it. I normally do not use retinol. I've never used retinol. I know that when you use retinol, you need to use a um, a really good sunblock because I, I think it makes your skin more prone to being damaged by the sun. I don't know. I probably honestly will not use this. I'll probably give this to someone else. But yeah, there's that product. This is one that, like I said, I will not use just because I don't, I am not there on the retinol journey yet. I just, I'm not there. So, okay. Next is something that I had already used. I, um, if you watched my Pat McGrath lip swatch video, you would have seen this in there, but it is the color that I have on my lips. So here it is here gorgeous packaging like all of Pat McGrath's products um described as a dusty rose there it is you saw how pigmented it was how quickly it just full pigment right from the get-go it is it feels like a very very thin almost like moussey texture a little bit if you have ever felt the MAC powder kiss lipsticks that is what vibes this gives me. However, when I'm wearing these, I always like to put them on, leave them on for like a few seconds, and then I'll blot it with tissue. And it lasts for hours and hours and hours. I did touch up my lips. I had put it on at like, geez, what time was that? Probably like 1030 this morning. And when I got home at five o'clock after eating a burger, <laughs> I still had some like color on my lips. So this stuff really does last a long time and I do love it. This, somebody was calling me, so I don't know where it cut off, but this product alone is full size and this retails for $38. So this whole kit is 35. So even if you just wanted to try a Pat McGrath lipstick, it's so worth it in this kit, which is why I picked it up. And yeah, these kits overall, they end up being such a good deal. Okay, the final thing is something that I was very interested to get and try, but honestly that I don't love. So it is the Fenty Beauty, I think it's called the Full Frontal, Full Frontal Mascara. This retails for $24. So just the two full size products retail for $62, kit is 35, the value clearly is there. Um, but yeah, let me show you this brush. So the brush was actually fine. Um, here we go. The brush was actually fine. I really liked the brush itself. No issues there. My issue is with the formula. So. I'm going to pull you guys in close so you can get an up-close view of this mascara. You got an up-close view. It is not a bad mascara. Just compared to other ones that I have used, this is not it. So, I think it definitely does better on the lower lashes. Like, it does not flake all day. It did not flake. Um, it is very lengthening, but the volume, it doesn't have a ton of volume and it's not very, very black. So I am used to the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. This mascara, right out of the gates, good to go, right out the tube, doesn't dry up too quickly, lasts a super long time, and it is super, super black lengthening, volumizing, all of that. This is really just kind of lengthening and doesn't flake. So that's why I say I would use this like on the lower lashes, but on the top lashes, this just will not do it for me. 
sometimes um, mascaras right out of the package are not their best quality. Usually, you know, sometimes it can take like two or three weeks of use, like in that air getting in the product that makes it like thicken up just a little bit and the mascara performs better, you know, three weeks in. But like I said, I have mascaras that right out of the gate are top-notch quality. Another one is the Lancome Monsieur Big, um, the Maybelline Lash Sensationals, I think is what it's called. It's in like a pink tube. That one's really good. CoverGirl Super Sizer. I don't know if they still make that, but if they do, Super Sizer and Waterproof is bomb. Um, but yeah, so this is not my favorite. I will probably still use it on my lower lashes or I may see if my daughter wants it. But you are getting a good amount of products. So um, this is a win. Love that. And especially for fall, like this time of the year, such a pretty color. Hair mask for bomb. This I personally will not use, but that's not to say that it's not a good product. This, eh. This, again, I will have to update you in the description bar, but as of right now, I'm going to say no, but I'm going to try to make it work because the strawberry scent, guys, I have never smelled, I don't think I've ever smelled a hair product that smelled like strawberry lip smackers, like legit, you need to go to the store, even if you don't like pick this kid up, anything like that, smell it because... The scent is, the scent is everything. And then this, and clearly it works. It's definitely glossy. Um, definitely glossy. I will say that. So, all day my daughter thought my hair was wet. And it's not wet, homie. Okay, and then next is the Fenty Skin. And you, that, actually, you will get a good amount of use out of that. This will probably last with regular use, probably two months. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you're getting a good amount of stuff for $35. They also have different sets, like the perfume ones are really good. Um, they have, like, little samples. And then once, I mean, you can give that as a gift. And whoever tries those, they pick their favorite one. And there's, like, a little certificate inside. You take it to Sephora and you get a full size of that perfume. So they get to test a whole bunch of like Sephora favorites and then pick the one that they like the best. That's a great kit. There are skincare kits. There's green beauty kits. So you can really find one that whoever you are gifting it to would really enjoy. I have given these as gifts in the past. They make fantastic gifts for someone else or for yourself. With it being October, we have to start thinking about that stuff because Christmas is going to creep up on us. Having said that, um, I think that is going to be it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoy your day, your night, whatever it is when you're watching this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.